Good morning, I'm Daniel and thank you for watching In A Magical Mood. Today, I'm gonna show you how to get a virtual queue return time for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway at Disneyland Park. Right now, it's 6.50 in the morning. So I am setting everything up to sign up for the virtual queue before 7 a.m., which is the time that I am able to try and get in that queue. Currently, you can join the virtual queue at 7 a.m. if you have a reservation for Disneyland Park as your first park. If not, you can join the virtual queue at 1 p.m. But in order to join the 1 p.m. virtual queue, you must have a park hopper ticket, and a magic key is a park hopper ticket, and you need to be scanned into a park. If you haven't yet scanned into a park for the 1 p.m. virtual queue, you will not be able to try and get into it. If you follow my strategies, you have the best chance possible of getting into a virtual queue for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. A couple of suggestions I have to try and make the process go easier. One, you need to make sure that your Disneyland app is up to date. So do that the night before you're trying to sign up for your virtual queue. I also strongly recommend closing all other apps on your phone and restarting your phone just to make sure you're going off of a clean slate and that your phone is gonna be as fast as possible. In order to register for the virtual queue, you need to open up the Disneyland app. Once you're on this screen, there's a few different ways to get to it. The easiest way, in my opinion, is click on the menu button in the bottom right corner here. And you'll see on the bottom left, once this loads, there is a virtual queues button. So you go ahead and click on that virtual queues button and then you click on join virtual queue. Within one hour of the virtual queue time, you can confirm your party. So make sure everyone's ticket is linked in your app from whoever is going to be trying to get into the virtual queue. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm your party. So this shows all the people who have a reservation for Disneyland today and I have their ticket linked to my Disneyland account on my phone. If I want to take someone off, you can go to the uh, edit screen and go ahead and click or unclick people as you see fit. But it automatically defaults to selecting everybody who has a park reservation for that day for Disneyland Park. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm party and I am ready to begin. The virtual queue enrollment goes very fast. So I have a watch that I use, I use my Apple Watch, but you wanna have some type of timepiece that is synced up to the global time system because that's what Disneyland uses. iPhones and uh, Apple Watches work great for that. So I start looking at my watch at 6.59 and as it counts up, you know, 55 seconds, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you wanna be there right as the clock turns from 6.59 to seven press those blue buttons, that's gonna be your best chance at getting your virtual queue return time. Here is the biggest tip I have for getting into the virtual queue. At 6.59 and 59 and a half seconds, that's when you wanna press that refresh button. Not at 7 a.m. sharp, not at 6.57, at 6.59 and 59 and a half seconds. That's gonna get your phone to refresh right at seven, and that's going to make that button turn blue. If you are trying for the 7 a.m. virtual queue, do be aware that your virtual queue return time is most likely gonna be before 1 p.m. They kind of space them out in order to make sure that the early group goes early and the later group goes later. So if you're not planning on being in the park until after one o'clock, then you're gonna to wanna to skip the 7 a.m. virtual queue sign up and try for the 1 p.m. But again, keep in mind, you do need to have entered a park by 1 p.m. in order to try and sign up for the 1 p.m. virtual queue time release. For the 7 a.m. virtual queue, you don't need to be in the park. You don't need to be on Disney property or at the Disneyland Resort. As you can see, I'm here at my home. This is the easiest and best place, in my opinion, to do it. And then as soon as you get a group, you can see if you need to hustle to the parks quickly to get there or if you have some time, depending on what group number you are, you can kind of guesstimate when you're going to be called back. You do have one hour after your group is called to return and enter the queue for the ride. So make sure that you plan accordingly and are around when your group is called. It is now 6.59 and I've got everything ready to go. I've got my phone on the virtual queue page that I need to be on. I have my watch right next to me that's counting down the seconds or I guess counting up the seconds to uh, 7 a.m. And as soon as it hits 7 a.m., the second it does that, I'm gonna wanna tap that button that turns blue and just, again, keep pressing blue buttons until I get a virtual queue group number, or it tells me that I was too slow. Again, it's gonna go very fast, and you need to be quick, and don't think, just press blue buttons, but if you're not doing it quickly, it's not gonna work for you. 
I don't know how well this is gonna show because again, I am doing it very quickly and it's gonna be very fast, but here we go. We got about six seconds to go. So let's get going. So there we go, I tap, tap, tapped. I got group 90. You gotta be quick when you're trying to sign up for that virtual queue. I'm sure that it's already gone for the morning session and uh, your next bet would be for one o'clock. If you were not able to get into the virtual queue but still wanna go on the attraction, you can still do that if you're willing to pay for an individual lightning lane. So I'm gonna walk you through the process real quick on how to get there, but since we got group 90 and we have a virtual queue group, we're not gonna do that today. You can do the virtual queue and an individual lightning lane purchase in order to be able to go on the attraction twice, but there's no standby line. So your only ways right now to get on the attraction are to get into a virtual queue group or pay for that individual lightning lane. To purchase the individual lightning lane for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, the easiest way I think to get there is to go to the map screen. So if you're not on the map screen, go ahead and click on this icon here at the bottom to go to the map. And you can then find Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway on the map. Click on Lightning Lane, and then that's gonna populate the tip board and scroll you down there. So as you can see, it already has my virtual queue group uh, listed there. You can purchase an individual Lightning Lane by clicking on that button there. Right now it's already up to 8.50 a.m. for the return time and costs $20 for today. When you click on that, it will show you all of the people linked to your account, but in order to purchase the individual Lightning Lane, you must have entered a park for the day. Since I'm still at home, I am not able to purchase this individual lightning lane. Once we get to the park and scan in for the day, then if I want to purchase an individual lightning lane, I can if it's still available. So from here, we're going to finish getting ready for the day. We'll check in with you in a little bit and show you how to know when your group has been called and how to get onto the attraction. I made it to Disneyland and I'm taking a little break in the picnic area outside of the park and I want to show you what it looks like when you're in the park or at the resort and have a virtual queue group. When you open up the app, it should take you to the home screen. If it doesn't, go ahead and hit the home button on the bottom left corner right there. And it shows you right here that I am group 90 for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and that the estimated callback time is 1.10 p.m. So that's the best way to do it. It shows you right there your estimated return time. Doesn't necessarily mean that's gonna be correct. Uh, a little while ago it was broken for a bit and our return time went up to like two o'clock and now it's gone back down to 1.10. So who knows when we'll actually be called. If you click on that box, it takes you to the details where it shows you your group number, what groups are currently boarding. So you can see right now it's groups 23 to 31 and that our estimated wait is 205 minutes. Now I don't know about you, I have a tough time doing math and dividing by 60 in my head sometimes. So the easiest way to do it again is if you go back a screen, it takes you there and shows you your time and look, it just went up to 118. So it's just kind of hovering back and forth. I've seen it go as low as 1245. I've seen it go as high as about two o'clock. I think it was like 20 something. So just keep an eye on that and then you'll have an idea of when you're supposed to be in the area to go for your group when it's called. They just called our group. So group 90, about 3.04 in the afternoon. There was about an hour delay because the ride was broken starting at group 86. So right before our group was called, it, uh, it went down for a bit, but we're back up and now we can go on the ride. Let me show you what it looks like when you're notified on your phone and let's go check it out. This is what it looks like when your boarding group is called. You get a push notification on your phone. It says, please return by 404. So that's an hour from the time that they called our group. So let's go ahead and click on that and see what happens. So that takes us to our virtual queue where it says it's ready for us. So all we do is click view entry code and that should just pull up our barcodes. So there you can see all the people in our group are ready to go on the ride. You will go to the umbrellas that they have set up right outside of Toontown. You will check in where they'll just look to make sure that you have a return time. And then once you get to the attraction itself, that's where they will actually scan the barcode. So here we go, getting in the line. Click on the links below to see a full tour of the queue and the ride itself. If you have any questions at all about the virtual queue, please let us know in the comments down below. 
We will answer them and try and get you whatever information it is you're looking for. I have a very high success rate of getting low boarding groups, even though I got a higher group today, opening day. I'm so happy with the uh, fact that I got group 90 and got one of the groups in the morning time. I hope you found this video on how to get a virtual queue return helpful. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe for even more magical content. And I hope I put you in a magical mood.